Hey squirrel friends, tis I, Jason, and I'm here in upstate New York, filming in my niece's room. So last week I told you guys that I was coming here to New York and I was like super pumped about it. I'm so happy to be here. This current moment I'm in my niece's room. Ooh, if you can't tell. Oh, I guess you can't really see that much mess. So I'm on like a, what is this? Blow up mattress. And it's pretty not comfortable. Being back upstate made me realize <laughs> that there's like nothing to do in this town. I got here yesterday and like I got to see my mom and everything and then she went to work and I like passed out. I did not wake up until 9 o'clock at night. I couldn't go to sleep. I just played games on my phone. Right now because Nick suddenly awake, he kept playing this game called Township and I was like fine I'll download it and see what it's all about and it's actually really fun. It kind of reminds me of the Sim City build it. So if you guys play that game and you want to like follow my town and see what, how I build everything my code, I guess, or whatever, is this, like W something. I just put that in the thing and it'll give me a friend's request, I guess, and I'll just add you. This is also not a sponsored video, but I just felt like it was a cute game that you can like all play together if you end up playing it. But that was the main reason I, I realized that I there was nothing to do in this town because I was awake and it was like already after nine. So my upstate brain is still like, well, what's open? Walmart? Okay, let's go there. And it's like, why would that be my option to go? Not to shame the wonderful place I grew up in. It's just I think living in New York City and then moving to Los Angeles is like it's kind of hard to like live in an area like this for me. Oh my god it sounds so snobbish. For like me I really do enjoy being able to spend a little time with my mother and then my nieces and nephews and my sisters here too so it's nice to like see everyone all together. If you've been following me on Snapchat you'll see a few videos that I've posted while I'm here. I think one of the hardest things for me when I moved to Los Angeles was like leaving my mother and since I haven't seen her since February it was it's, it's been an amazing time to be able to be around her you know I don't know I just really love my mother anywho I'm working all next week so my next day off is Tuesday which I'm hoping to go and unlock the space you know how like YouTube has the space in New York I want to be able to unlock it so I can like do things in the future there, but I need to actually have a purpose to do it. If there's anything you want me to do in the big YouTube space that you want to see from me, let me know in the comments below. There's a shed in my mom's backyard that has like a whole bunch of my stuff. So I was trying to go through that today and I like was sweating and it was like not pretty. And I found a lot of things that I just had to throw away because I was like, what, what, who needs this broken uh, anime figure that I had from Ranma back in the day? It's interesting how I am such a hoarder because I'd be looking at it and I'm like, I can use this one day and I'm like, literally, I have not seen or thought about this item in five years. Why am I thinking about it now just because I'm going to throw it away? It's really bad. But sometimes you feel like you might actually use it, you know? I'm rambling. I should go. If you haven't already, make sure you push the subscribe button because I make videos every single Wednesday. In case you didn't know, that's like my new schedule. And who knows what next week's video is going to pertain to. So the only way to find that out is if you subscribe to this channel. And if you enjoyed this sit down talky kind of video, make sure you give me that like. Even though give me that like button just because you like me. I hope you guys are doing well, and until next week with my new video, please take care of yourselves. Toodles. I mean, being back in like the time where you grew up, when it's nice and nostalgic, and it's interesting to like drive around and see where you used to like do things, but I don't know if I'd be able to live again here. I don't know, never say never. You never know what might happen in the future. I'm rambling. But irregardless, I quoted Mean Girls the other day to somebody and they didn't get the reference. And then it made me think, am I old? Am I one of those people that are thinking, back in my day, we used to watch Mean Girls 20 times a week. We never did that. I'd like to say I did though. Why do you think I keep dyeing my hair? I'm trying to hold on to my youth.